Hey guys, first of all, I would like to thank you for checking out my first ever After Effects tutorial. Hopefully I will be able to maintain a decent flow without making too many awkward pauses and get my point across. Since this is my first tutorial, I've decided to keep it simple and I'm going to show you how you can control various settings with checkbox expressions. Let's jump straight into After Effects and learn something cool. So, welcome back. How I did this. Let's lead the controls layer so we can start from the beginning. Now, first thing I'm going to do is to create a adjustment layer. I'm going to rename it. This is just a personal preference. I like to keep things organized. Now I'm going to go to effects, expression controls, and I'm going to select the checkbox control. Now I'm going to change this checkbox control to switch position there. Before we do anything else, I'm going to lock this window here so it's always on top. Now I'm going to solo the switch and switch on and switch off position compositions. And I'm going to press T to bring up the opacity for both of them. Alt click on this opacity stopwatch. Select this pick whip and move it to this checkbox. I'm going to leave this expression as is. Go at the very beginning and type if open parentheses go to the end equal sign equal sign one which means if this checkbox is turned on that's what this equal equal one stands for close parentheses type a hundred else zero which means that if this checkbox is turned on this switch on position composition will have a hundred percent value now I'm going to select all of this, copy, then I'm going to alt click on this opacity stopwatch for the switch off position. Now I'm going to paste the expression to reverse the values. So I'm going to type zero else hundred. If you check this out, so if this is turned on, the on position will have a hundred percent opacity while the off position will have a zero percent opacity. Now if we turn this off, it's reversed. Next thing we'll do is to change the position of the slider. And since I have some other layers attached to it, the only one I need to edit is the slider itself. So I'm going to press P to bring up the position. Now I'm going to right click and separate the dimensions because I only need the X value for this. Alt click on the stopwatch next to the X position, link it to the checkbox. And it's the same thing like before. Go to the very beginning, type if, open parentheses, this checkbox is turned on, have a value of 705, but if this checkbox is turned on, have the value of 575. There it is. So hopefully you guys find this tutorial useful. I will leave the project available for download if you want to experiment a bit more. And thanks again for checking this out. I hope that I will be able to make some more tutorials and more complicated ones. But until then, take care. I wish you all the best and bye.